Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 76, verse 3. His purposes fail not, neither are there any who can stay his hand. Alright, basically this is saying that None can stop the work of God from progressing. Not even the greatest evil that is existent in the eyes of man. Nothing can stop it from progressing. People may, through their actions and unrepentant behavior, they may disqualify themselves from participating in helping the work of God go forward. But, nothing can stop it. You see, back when the 116 pages were lost, that didn't stop the work from going forward either. Because long ago, in the times of Nephi, the Lord had instructed Nephi to make a separate set of plates and copy certain bits of information down for a wise purpose. And that wise purpose is because the Lord knew that what would happen hundreds of years from then. And lo and behold, look what happened. But you know, Joseph was eventually forgiven. He was forgiven and allowed to translate the other part, the other thing that Nephi had written. And who knows what would have happened if those pages hadn't been lost, but they were, and hence that part was lost, but the work of God has still gone forward. We still have the Book of Mormon. It's true. And it can benefit all who read it and absorb it and feast upon it. And there are none who can stop the will of God from happening. People may think it crazy to stop the, the will of God from happening. Because they may not think the people involved to be ready for the will of God to happen, but the Lord gives us what we need when we need it, and He gives us He gives us plenty of opportunity to to prepare and be ready for that those blessings which He sends for us, and He gives us the opportunity to choose whether or not we want the blessings. The Lord is saddened, yes, when we don't accept blessings, but other than that, it, it doesn't really have an effect on him. I mean, he's sad, yes, but he's going to respect our agency. He's not going to beat us down until we take the blessing, if we don't want it. He's going to simply say, all right, you chose this, you cheated yourself out of blessings, but I'm going to respect your agency. But for those who do want blessings and crave them and desire them, the Lord will come forward with his blessings. And there will be none that can stop and from coming forth, his purposes fail not. And the same for those who openly rebel against God and dare the Lord to take them on. Do you think the Lord actually wants to punish people? No, he doesn't. But if we ask, if people ask to be punished, if people ask for more than they can handle, he's going to give it to them, and he's going to, he's going to give them what they want. His purposes fail not, I mean, even if his purpose is just to teach us a lesson. 
if if we ask for it, he will do it. See, the Lord listens to us, and he respects our agency, and he listens to what we ask for. He may not give us what we want when we want it, but we will get it. We will get what we ask for. I mean, even if it's not exactly what we want, it's what we need. And the Lord knows us better than we know ourselves. And He gives us opportunities to grow constantly. And it's sometimes only through blessings and trials that we can grow. Actually, it's often through, it's pretty much always through blessings and trials. And they help make us wise because of the experience they give us. Christ died that we might live. The atonement of Christ had a purpose to help us live. And even if we don't want want that gift in our lives, the atonement's still there. Nothing can stop the work of God. Not even the fall of Adam and Eve stopped the work of God. It progressed it. If it weren't for the fall of Adam and Eve, there wouldn't be a need for the atonement. But yet they fell and Christ died so that all wouldn't be impacted by that nor would they be impacted. By their own fallacies. Isn't that wonderful? The atonement rescued us all. And not even the most evil. The most evil terrors can stop the work of God from progressing. And that's a fact. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.